French Revolution was a period of social and political upheaval and radical change in the history of France due to internal conflicts, during which the French governmental structure, previously an absolute monarchy with feudal privileges for the clergy and nobility, underwent radical change to forms based on the Enlightenment principles of citizenship and inalienable rights. During this period, ideas like liberalism and equality spread like wildfire. It lasted from 1789 to 1799. But the question is, why is it so important? Before I try to tackle this question, let's go and learn a bit about the French Revolution. What it was, we need to know a bit about it to know why it was important. For centuries before the revolution, the French population was divided into three estates. Firstly, the first estate, or the clergy. The second estate, or the nobility. And the third estate, the peasants, or the commoners. And of course, above all of them was the king. The gift from God. Now, although this system was obviously unfair, it was implemented for hundreds of years before the French Revolution, without being questioned. However, in a period known as the Age of Enlightenment, intellectual people started questioning this hierarchy. And they started questioning the fact that if God would, or really could, appoint a king. And they promoted the use of science and logic and reasoning, and not pure belief. Their ideas began spreading. Around the same time, the French monarchy had gone from a rich and glorious monarchy to a poor monarchy, struggling with a financial crisis and a lot of debt. This was a result of them funding the American Revolution, which they did to shrink the British Empire and participating in the Seven Years' War. So when the French monarchy decided to get some money by taxing the Third Estate heavily, and not taxing the nobility or clergy, the resentment in the peasants grew. Throw that into the mix with a famine and you've got yourself a problem. They knew the king or the church would do them no good, so the resentment grew to the point where riots began. On the 14th of July, revolutionists stormed a building known as the Bastille and they destroyed it. The Bastille Fortress was a symbol of power for the monarchy, and so they had in a way defied the monarchy. This day is known as France's Independence Day, the 14th of July. Soon after, the French accepted a declaration of rights of the man and the citizen that said, Men are born and remain free and equal in rights. And although this did not include women or slaves, it was a huge change. Later on, in 1793, the French beheaded their king. If they could behead their king, they could behead anybody. And if they could behead anybody, if the French could behead anybody, anybody, meaning the people of other monarchies, could behead anybody. And this was a serious example for all of the monarchies and kingdoms in the world. After this event, France went through a lot, such as the Reign of Terror, in which thousands were beheaded by the infamous guillotine. But eventually, a military commander named Napoleon Bonaparte eventually overthrew the system and claimed himself the Emperor of France. And even though the revolution may have started with the monarchy and ended with the monarchy, and it may have seemed like a failure back then, its effects have proven otherwise. Its effect was like that of the atom bomb. It proved that it could be done. It set an example for Europe's royals and the world's monarchies that it could be done. And it laid the groundwork for a more democratic world. It showed that there was a different way things could be done, a more fair and equal way that things could be done. The French Revolution had a major impact on Europe and the New World. It led to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, who once again restored France's glory and expanded the empire. It challenged the idea of the three estates and it also forced other monarchies to leave their cruel system or at least upgrade the situation for the peasants. It even had a great influence on the world. It influenced a great variety of political movements 
The Russian Revolution against the Tsar in 1917 is an example of this. The Russian Revolution caused the fall of Tsarist Russia and the rise of the Soviet Union. It also played a part in causing the Chinese Communist Revolution in 1949, which was the second part of the Chinese Civil War. Without the French Revolution, Without the French Revolution, the world we know today as it is would not exist. The French Revolution can be argued to be the most influential revolution ever. Some historians have also called the French Revolution as the most important event in human history. I'll say that again, the most important event in human history. There is even a whole Wikipedia page dedicated to explaining its influence. It may even be so influential as the Chinese Premier Zhao Enlai famously once said, it is still too early to say the result of the French Revolution. Even centuries after the French Revolution, it may still be too early to tell what it really causes. It may have been one of the biggest change that shaped our Western world today as we know it. I would say it isn't important. It is more than just important.